In this exercise, we'll create a helical groove on the curved surface of a cylinder. If the cylinder were made of ceramic, we could root a resistance wire in the groove to make a heating element. We'll start with a helix spline that lies on the surface of the cylinder. We can create that easily using the spline helix function. Then we'll use the pipe tool to drive a solid pipe along the spline. To get a clean runoff, we can use the offset faces tool to extend the pipe 0.5 inches at each end. Finally, we'll use the Boolean difference tool to subtract the pipe from the cylinder. So let's work with an actual file. We'll open up sample file KCV cylinder 1.ckd. There's a helical spline on this cylinder. Now that helical spline on the cylinder was made using the helix spline function. We had a length of 4 and a 0.5 pitch. And we simply picked the centers of the end of the cylinder to create positions for the spline. And then used the end of a tie bar to start the spline. So let's set the color to green. And we're going to use the pipe function. We're going to type an outside diameter of 0.125 and a 0 for the ID. We'll select the spline and then click on accept and we'll get a solid pipe along the length. Let's use the offset faces tool. We'll type 0.5 and we'll select the two end faces of the pipe. This will extend the pipe out so that we get a clean runoff off the cylinder. Finally, we'll use the Boolean difference tool. We'll select the cylinder and then select the pipe. And this creates a perfect groove that we can run our wire in. We'll use the delete icon to get rid of the spline. And that's all there is to it. So let's recap. In this exercise, we created a helical groove on the curved surface of a cylinder. If the cylinder were made of ceramic, we could root a resistance wire in the groove to make a heating element. We started with a helix spline that was on the surface of the cylinder. We could create that easily using the spline helix function. Then we used the pipe tool to drive a solid pipe along the spline. To get a clean runoff, we used the offset faces tool to extend the pipe 0.5 inches at each end. And finally, we used the Boolean difference tool to subtract the pipe from the cylinder.